first year medical student and his father have now been arrested by the CBCID after a fraud was exposed. And in this particular case, the father-son duo plotted to secure admission in this medical college through fraudulent means. They managed to fool the college authorities for 45 days before their plot was exposed. The student and his father roped in someone else. In fact, they hired another person to answer the medical entrance or the NEET exam. And when the time came to attend classes, the real person showed up. The medical college in Tamil Nadu only found out after they realized that the picture on the college application and the NEET scorecard did not match. The High Court of uh, the Madras High Court, in fact, has now taken so much cognizance of this case. So, Pramod Madhav will help us understand exactly how things unfolded, how this uh, uh, this fraud was detected. So, uh, Pramod, uh, many at many levels, you know, uh, there is plotting and scheming. Uh, there is forgery, there is impersonation as well. So this father-son duo has really hatched this very insidious plan to get into the medical college. However, their cheating and their, their uh, plot was busted. Can you take us through how they were detected? Certainly, it's absolutely shocking because, as you might know, every year during NEET examination, the kind of uh, uh, the trouble the students have to go through, especially with the checking and uh, how they are sent into, like, you know, stating that they should not copy and such, such. And even after that, a cheating has been exposed right now. And the thing is that, as exactly mentioned, the student's name is Udit Surya, and he's been studying in Teni Government College uh, for more than 45 days. And his father is a doctor with the Government Stanley Medical College in Chennai. Apparently, through like uh, uh, through sources which have uh, like you know, after investigation. It has been revealed that uh, the management came to know about such a cheating on 12th of September, post which they started scrutinizing Udit Surya's documents once again. And at that point, they have sought a picture from Udit Surya. And when they got the passport size picture, they could not actually uh, they could not find any kind of resemblance between his application forms and the actual neat mark sheet the picture carried on it. Only then, after the, like uh, the moment like they started investigation, Udit Surya has uh, apparently given them a letter claiming that he wants to discontinue the exam. I mean his studies. And uh, uh, since then, he went on. Traceable. But however, the case was immediately transported to CBCID wing and uh, within two, uh, like the next day itself, CBCID actually traced uh, Udit Surya, his father and his mother uh, to Tirupati. From there, they were secured, brought to Teni and after a full day's investigation, it, it's being revealed that Udit Surya passed in 2000, 2016, the 12th marks and uh, uh, for two years, he tried to de write a right neat examination, but he could not clear it. But on this year, what has occurred is that through a connection, it seems like a major web, they have sought a big, a broken from Chennai and with him they have made a deal through which uh, another person from Mumbai was made to write the examination. Now yes. as the investigation continues it's being said that there is a possibility at least for six more students to have I mean, cheated like this and uh, there, is, there are chances for the CBCRD team to even visit Mumbai soon to investigate the matter. Okay so stay with us uh, Pramod. I have Mr. Padam Narayanan joining us on the phone line. He's an educationalist. So uh, we are looking at uh, the larger picture here, Mr. Narayanan, where we are talking about how, first of all, this desperation to get into medical colleges have, uh, ha have now revealed cases where people go to any extent. Now, NEET was, of course, uh, extremely controversial uh, in Tamil Nadu for other reasons, for the process and procedure. But this is a very different case. Now we are talking about people resorting to fraudulent means to get into these medical colleges. And it seems it's difficult to detect these cases. It took more than a month to bust uh, this particular uh, case of Udit uh, Surya. Yes, certainly. Uh, people like this have been telling for quite some time that the health sector has become very, very dirty. There's so much of greed in that, especially so much of profiteering. In this particular case, if you find, if you, you know, if you can uh, uh, understand, the, mm -hmm. both the parents are doctors. Both the parents are successful doctors who are working un under the government setup. And still they were so desperate that they wanted to make his son, their son into a doctor that they go to any extreme of uh, impersonation and all type of fraudulent uh, means. Yes. And they are poisoning the young mind also. So mm. this is the, this may not be the isolated case. There may be such malpractices happening all over India. We may have to check systematically in what, what, uh, what are the loopholes which are there, what kind of scams can happen in various states, especially in the northern states. I'm not insinuating, mm -hmm. but there is a high possibility that there is a mafia working with a tray with uh, these neat coaching centers going to any extent uh, uh, to to you know to support, uh, sponsor their uh, students and making uh, quick money out of it. 
So right. uh, on one side, initially, I was one of the persons who were supporting NEET in Tamil Nadu. When it mm. was brought to Tamil Nadu, we thought it is going to be an objective method where the present uh, yearly system was not good in Tamil Nadu, where they, it was based on cut-off marks from plus two. Yes. And uh, all the schools were becoming coaching centers. So we thought that NEET may be a op- uh, uh, better option to op- mm. uh, to uh, uh, you know to become you know to pick up students based on their aptitude as well as eligibility but mm. it is becoming a rat race here where people are uh, getting into all kind of uh, uh, unethical means to get into medical sector and the private uh, uh, medical colleges also yes. may be supporting in this so right that that's an important point you're there. raising that some yes. private colleges could be complicit the other aspect that we are also looking at is the fact that these kind of agents exist the fact that you can actually hire someone to appear on your behalf for an entrance exam so you know is it that simple is are these things rampant it it may be rampant here to see now coach see now neet has brought a huge business of coaching centers all over in, in india people are going to far away places staying in hostels and studying and coaching for the whole oh, after plus 2 they get into a coaching center and stay there for a whole year and train themselves to to become uh, you know eligible for neet uh, examination so malpractices are high possibility hmm. so neet is not a full proof system you on one side it is harassing lot of genuine students hmm. by asking them to you know uh, cut their hair not wear jewelry not even shoes so much of harassment is happening at the intern, uh, at that uh, you know entrance centers hmm. the other side there are people who try to make a quick buck by by by, by spa, you know poisoning young minds that they can get into a medical college through all fraudulent means and then they make a quick buck so uh yes no no every every solution creates another problem it's basically because people want to get into health sector because they think that there is a lot of money there right people want to make uh, you know mbbs uh, doctor so that they can get huge dowry so it is not that to right. serve people it is mm. not to solve people's health issue problems mm. in the society mm. but to make money and then have a good life so that right. is the approach now to entire uh, medical college admissions so yes. this unless so yeah yeah you rightly pointing issue. out that there are several other social levels that have led to this kind of a malpractice which is probably thriving because our reporter on the ground tells us that this may not be an isolated case uh, thank you for joining us mr narayanan i want to bring in dr ajalan naganathan who's also a doctor and social activist joining us uh, on the broadcast uh, good morning dr naganathan i want to understand from you that here is a case of a boy whose both parents are established doctors in tamil nadu they are desperate for their son to get into a medical college however probably not taking any chances not sure of his chances they have decided to take recourse to this fraudulent means to hire someone else to appear on his behalf and the boy actually attended class he it, it was only after 45 days that the authorities got a whiff of it now when we look at this entire modus operandi it raises several questions on what are the loopholes that exist where are the checks and balances in neat actually you should understand that uh, altamas kabir gave a judgment against neat in 2013 that's a 164 page judgment where it clearly says how a centralized type of exams will be going against such a huge populous country and yes. that too with a pluralistic nature because he was advising that we should have a federal type of uh, situation we can't have a centralized exam just like us or any other countries because we have we don't have proper system in check place so the but this present government was forceful enough to implement national testing agency and they amended medical council of india constitution to enforce neat on other states See, we had 85% domiciliary quota where the respective state will conduct an entrance exams for doctor recruitment and in tamil nadu we have a entrance system which is entry system based on 12 standard marks yes. it was the full proof system we used to devise cut off out of our science papers and we got into the medical college streams and those type of 12 standard based exams were also essential for people from lower socio economic strata and an opportunity to become doctors 
Now, well, I, I mean, you may have your problems against NEET, but does that mean that you will try and subvert the system? Does that justify? I understand that the millions have some genuine concerns. There are language issues. NEET has not addressed many of the concerns when it comes to the process and procedure and making it more accessible to many of the regional language uh, students. But does that mean that you will now take recourse to this kind of uh, ways and means to get into a medical college? The, judge, the judgment what Altama has been given hmm. was everything is coming in place. See, we had difficulties in regional papers. 41 yes. questions were wrong in Tamil paper. And court also, I court also accepted it. But it is, we didn't find any type of uh, solution for that. Because the next year also we carried on the same concept. Now the issue of corruption also is coming into place. Now you're talking about a foolproof system that too in medical health care where you need a really uh, concerned moral persons to come into this field to take our health of this country. Now, this has paved way for this competition. It's a mad race competition. See, we have, we have gone away from our basic uh, conceptual reading of syllabus, and we are diverting to our children to coaching centers in order to make the competitiveness. This increased competitiveness and failure in the competitiveness pushes one family mind to malpractices and pave ways for malpractices. And the system is not foolproof. The candidate has written his exams in Bombay and he's taken up a seat in Tamil Nadu, which is, mm. which is here, which is many kilometers as distance as such now. Now, see, we had corruption in postal exams. We had a lot of people from north taking up uh, postal exams in Tamil Nadu. In Tamil grammar, they have scored more than 98 marks. But we called them and asked those candidates. They didn't have any single word in Tamil also. Yes. So why, why in a very pluralistic country with a federal structure and a multilingual setup, why the central government has more, many issues to address like economy, defense, and external affairs? Why you want to indulge in health and education and making a centralized exam? And again, well, I understand corruption. those points, but I still don't understand why uh, you know people will resort to unfair means and why uh, you know something like this cannot be weeded out if there is enough surveillance in the system. If systems are in place, something like this should have been detected day one. It should not have gone on for such a long time. There is, uh, there are social levels. Your previous speaker was telling us that doctors have uh, bring in higher dowries. But the larger concern is this is the healthcare system we are talking about. We cannot have people with dubious credentials entering such an essential service in this country. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Naganathan, with your views on this.